Greetings everybody. So today I'm going to talk about the best way to hook up your Wi-Fi mesh system. Now this is going to be based on what kind of system do you have. I got the Netgear Orbiz so it gives me a lot of flexibility. So that's the one I'm going to cover and if you want to get this one I will leave a link in the description where you can pick one up. So stay tuned while I go over the way that I have my system set up. Okay, so let's start off by showing you how I have my system set up. First, I'm going to show you where it's connected. It's connected to my modem. And of course, this Orbis system has four Ethernet ports in the back. So pretty much everything in my studio is hardwired into this Orbi. Now, the Orbi only has four ports and I have a lot of devices. So I'm going to show you what I use to expand those ports. But before I do, I want to let you know that hardwire is the best way to go because it relieves a lot of that stress on your Wi-Fi system. So I do the same for my TVs, my Fire Stick, because the Fire Stick you can buy the Ethernet adapter and make it hardwired instead of wireless. So that's one tip I want to give you in this video before I proceed is to hardwire as much stuff as you can as possible. Okay, so of course you know that the modem that I get from the cable company is hardwired into the router itself. And of course you know that's plugged into the special yellow port that's at the back of the router. So therefore every other port is to do whatever you want to hook it up to. So my two computers that you see right here are already taking up two ports and I still have a whole bunch of other devices to connect. So what you're going to need to expand the ports on the back of the router is to get an ethernet switch. Now initially I had a five port ethernet switch but then my devices started multiplying so I needed more ports to support those additional devices so I got another five port ethernet switch. Now the first network switch is connected to one of the ethernet port on the back of the router and then that second network switch is connected to one of the ports on the back of the first switch. So all I did was just creating a daisy chain. One port is connected to another port which equals to another port and expand it out as far as I can. If I knew in the beginning I was going to need this much Ethernet ports, I probably would have got an 8 port switch or a 16 port switch. So if you're going down this road, just count up how much ports you're going to need in the beginning and get the right switch. But if you need to expand later on, you can always daisy chain your switches together. So if you're going down this road, I would recommend that you get a router that has a lot of Ethernet ports available. But if it don't, then you can always expand it out by getting a switch. And then once you get your switch, get your cables, Try to get the shortest cable as possible. You don't want a bunch of length of cables hanging around. And the cables come in various sizes, so you can just shop for it based on the length that you need. Now on one side of my desk, I have equipment, and the other side I have basically all the computer stuff. So I just have one cable that runs all the way over here from the router all the way over to the other side of the desk. All the devices connect to what ports available, and then that's how they get the internet source, which alleviate any stress on the Wi-Fi. On the satellite orbit, there's four more ports that I can still use. With that one, I have the TV, the Xbox, PlayStation, and even the Fire Stick going through that orbit. But I also have an Ethernet switch connected to that one to expand those ports so I can have as much thing, like I said, hardwired into my internet. Then everything else would just run off the Wi-Fi but it will still reduce the stress on your Wi-Fi system. So right now, the devices that actually takes Wi-Fi signal is the limited usage devices. Devices like the Nest thermostat, my Nest Protect that I use for the smoke and carbon monoxide, my June oven, the Echo devices, and then also the Wi-Fi bulbs and any other device that uses low bandwidth. But 99% of my heavy bandwidth devices are hardwired in. And that's what you really want. You want as much devices off your Wi-Fi system as possible. And the Netgear Orbit Wi-Fi mesh system is gonna make it easier for you because it's one of the few routers out there that have more ethernet port than normal. And what I mean by normal, most of them usually just have two ports. But like I said, even if you go that route with just one that has two ports, you can always get the ethernet switch and expand it out. So it's that simple because you really don't have to configure anything once you connect those ethernet ports. You just connect devices to that network switch port or the Orbi port and then it's going to take care of itself. So there's no extra settings that you have to go through. Unlike the Wi-Fi where you have to put in a username and password, once you connect to the Ethernet port, it's going to connect automatically, no password needed. Okay, so there you have it. That's how easy it is to hook up this whole thing. Make sure you get a Wi-Fi mesh system and I would recommend you get the Orbi if you want to have a lot of ports to start off with so you can get all the devices that has an Ethernet port 
hardwired into your internet so you can reduce the load on your Wi-Fi. All right, so if this video was helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave it down below. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.